What's up everybody, this is just truly Mr. Steven and welcome to another episode of The Steven Factor. Tonight, my 300 show is just around the corner, but I will definitely going to save for my 300 show. But right now, I'm going to do the review of BH90210. Now, BH90210 is a reboot version with the original cast play as themselves. Now, I know the show is completely odd, but to be honest with you, this novella is getting a tense. The first episode was so great. They been honored Luke Perry at the end, and it was pretty wonderful. So many comedies at the end, even Gabby find out she have experience about sexuality, but I will get you, I will get back to that a little later on. But but right now, I think this reboot is not that bad. I mean, the original cast is great. Thank God. And, um, thank God. And, uh, and also there's, um, Tori Spelling and Jenny Garth developing, uh, develop that project of BH920. So it's all about the fans and people definitely liking it. So we have Jason Priestley, we have Brian Austin Green, Shannon Dorothy, she's back, uh, Jenny and Tori, Gabby and Brian Austin Green, they're coming back together for an outstanding reunion reboot. We have six episodes and even the storyline is even bigger and better than ever. Now, um, the actors were completely great. The writing is so beautiful and all kind of stuff. Um, even Gabby, uh, like I said, the sexuality storyline is great. But I'll get you back to that later on. I'm sorry about that. And even um, Zach, thank God he's not a villain. It's been revealed that that's Brian's biological son. So I was shocked that time. So, phew. Hallelujah. And even... Ah. Uh, ear hole. <laughs> and even um, the new actors of the BH Now 2.0, which is kind of meant for me. And, and I want to give a shout to... Um, Sha uh, Lala Anthony or Sha Lala Anthony or something like that. Uh, let me. I want to give a review about this woman here. Now, this woman, um, like I said, she's kind of meant to me. Uh, her acting is kind of strange, and even the storyline about herself because. She wants to get more attention instead of Brian because Brian is a stay-at-home dad and, you know, she wants more fame than it is. But during the second episode when Brian just burst out that it's been revealed that she's in the part of the movie with him, and even a music video, he just tried to drop the bomb on her and he will never do that again. So she later, she apologized and everything. But like I said, her acting is kind of a little bit off-key a little bit. But I want to give her acting more energized and everything. And even one episode that I really don't like. The door is open. And she was looking for her son. Meanwhile, Zach just find out that he got the son. Um, Zach got the son. And he holded his hand. And she said, give it, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. But, um, he did a run. How stupid is that? He didn't even run. Uh, he said, oh, g give it to me, give it, give it to me. And he didn't run. He, I was like, okay, what's wrong with this scene? I, like I said, her acting is... Kind of man and completely boring to me as well too. So um, yeah, that's I really don't like whatsoever. Now time for Gabby's sexuality. 
Now, let me tell you something. I love Gabby, to be honest with you. I think Gabby, as a non-fictional character, she decided to explain about sexuality or herself. And even, and even one of her co-stars talked about her sexuality. And even, um, just want to let you know, all the non-cast um, uh, cast members decided to make a reboot of the pilot of the show, of the original Beverly Hills 90210. And just want to let you know, every episode, they have dreams about nostalgia moments there, and even the present moments. So, yeah, that's that. I really like that dream sequence, so that's more important. So, anyways, um, oh, shit. So, Gabby find out that she was kissing another woman. And, um, and now, and now, it's been revealed that, um, she decided trying to interesting women. So that's the the most important to be honest with you. That's the really most important at, at the time. So um she wanted to explore. She wants to kiss another woman. Maybe her but husband didn't like it. Even the episode when she woke up in her dream that nobody don't likes her as Andrea. And um and, uh, yeah, so, um, it was very disappointed, but she, uh, so she decided to explore her own life. Now, during the Fox Necker Studios, there's a new head boss named Christine, who plays Emily Valentine, and, and also Brandon's wash ex-girlfriend, a drug addict. You know how she is, but let me tell you something. I love her. I love Christine, to be honest with you. But during the the episode of of Now to I Know, Christine and Andrea and Gabby, um, they have a little bit of chemistry together. So uh, Christine just texts Gabby that you have lunch together, and I was like. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, something intense is coming. Went to their lunch together. Something might happen. Not exactly, but during at night, when Gabby decided to go home, and Christine said to her, what are you doing here? So Gabby sat down with Christine, and for the first time ever, Gabby and Christine kissed. I was like, wow, amazing. She decided to kiss another woman, and now, since Christine falls in love with Gabby, she said she wanted to have a sexual relationship with her. Now, that is way too far, but she decided to change her mind. But hopefully, I wish it will be a second season. But that's one of my favorite episodes that I like on BH90210. Now, I know some people been complaining about this stupid reboot. Some people been criticizing on Twitter and even on social media. And even especially my cousin, Jeronka, um, doesn't don't like the reboot. And I just told her, it was a true story anyway. I told her it was a true, uh, I told her that you saw uh, the reboot of BH9210 and she said no because Luke Perry wasn't even there. But listen, with all due respect... Luke Perry passed away, and he was a great man with a great heart. And I really love Luke because he played as a total bad boy of Dylan McKay, and um, and now he will be missed. And to be honest with you, I didn't know he was on Riverdale. And second of all, I even don't watch Riverdale because I'm not a fan of CW. And I'm not feeling too I watch too many live action superheroes. It makes me want to sink. Ugh. But but anyways, Luke Perry was a great heart. But what I'm trying to say is, you need to give this reboot a chance. There's only six episodes. The ratings were decrease, decrease, decrease. 
from 386 to 196. And, and the ratings went low this summer. And, and I think the show did very well. But I think they should definitely keep harder. But I know in the summertime, it's very difficult. I mean, difficult to use their ratings. Because, I mean, some people watch the reboot. Some people really don't like watch the reboot. But maybe I just hope if the BH now 210 will bring season two in the mid spring of 2020 with 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 18 episodes. That that would be perfect. 18 episodes will be perfect. More storylines and everything. And I think everything will be okay. So don't get too judged about the stupid reboot. Don't get too disrespectful of these cast members because they don't really don't like, okay? It's just a damn reboot with the original cast. They have outstanding funny storylines. They already did a, a tribute to Luke Perry. And that's it. I don't have no complaints. And that's a review of BH9210. I just hope the show will go on on the second season. And that will be amazing. Now, coming up this week, my 300th episode... Yeah, that's right, folks. It's the moment I'll be waiting for. I'm going to say so many things which is coming out of my mind. I'm talking about the Eli Manning, um, Antonio Brown, the Jets. Listen, man. Let's just say that this 300 show will hit the fan. You will not going to miss this. Stay tuned. Dolabala, familia. Good night.